Hey guys, I'm here to do a book haul. Um, my husband took me to Half Price Books today, so I got some books. I really didn't find much in the YA section and the teen section. There really wasn't a whole lot. I was kind of disappointed in that, but I did find a, a few um, good books um, that made the trip worth it for me. Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This one I kept looking at um, online, and it was only $2 there, so I got it. It's Austin Burroughs, A Wolf at the Table. It's a memoir of his father. And this has those rough paint, rough edges or um, whatever, so I think that's very cool. This one I've been wanting and wanting, um, and it was like $12 online. Um, and it was 8.48 here, so I got it. Uh, Bleeding Violet by um, Dia Reeves. I've really, really been wanting this. <laughs> the only thing is, is look how big those words are. Yeah, those words are really, really big. Um, I think that's the most expensive book I bought. Let's see. Then I got, and I seen this one on Goodreads. This one was only $2. It's As Nature Made Him, The Boy Who Was Raised as a Girl. It's based on a true story, and it's about a botched circumcision. So the parents decided to raise their child as a girl. Um, but, of course, as he grew up, he, I guess, realized he was a boy. He felt it inside, and that's what he wanted to be. So, um... Then I got, this one was a dollar, by Tana French, The Likeness. I have In the Woods, and then I believe this is the second one. So I heard good things about it. This one I seen at Myers, and I wanted to get it. Um, and it was only a dollar here, so I'm glad I waited. Uh, Kristen Hanna, Firefly Lane. It's a pretty cover. Um, it's a long book, though. Definitely a long book. Almost 500 pages. Um, it's about uh, two girls that become friends in 1974, and they make a pact to be best friends forever, and it basically takes you through their life. So, for 30 years, it says. Um, let's see. What else did I get? I watched a YouTube video yesterday. Um, it was about, I forgot the name of the channel, but he has, or it's two guys, they have 996 as of last night videos, and it's both mostly about movies, and he was talking about and showing the best um, horror movies from the 80s. And it was so cool, and it got me you know, into thinking about scary movies and stuff. So, I, um, I seen this right when I walked in the door there, so it was kind of cool. It's The Book of Lists Horror. This was five ninety eight, And it's an all-new collection featuring Stephen King, Eli Roth, Ray Rad Bradbury, and more with an introduction by Gahan Wilson. And it actually says that it has um, Stephen King's 10 favorite horror novels or short stories, uh, learning what scares him, top six grossing horror, gross, grossing horror movies of all time in the United States, top 10 horror-themed rock and roll songs, and much, much more. So it's just a list of just all kinds of different stuff related to horror. So I think that's really, really cool. So I'm really excited to to look through that. Um, this one I almost bought off of eBay and I kept going back and forth over it. So it was a dollar cheaper there. I got it for $3.98. Love Sick by Jake Coburn. And it's a speak novel. And I've always had good luck with them. So. Um, oh, and then I got this one. Um, this one was $6.98. It's called Beautiful Stranger. I never heard of it, but it's a memoir of an obsession with perfection. So it's about a girl that is obsessed with being perfect. Um, 
and the way she looks and everything. So she's had like all these plastic surgeries. I think so by the time she was 27 or something. Um, and this also has those ruffled uh, paint edges. So this is pretty cool. And that was by Hope Donahue. And then I got two movies. Um, the first one was only a dollar. I was really excited because it's in this cool case too. Saw 2. And it's in this. So it comes out. So that was kind of cool. And this other one was only $2. And I'm really excited because this is a really, really good movie. I mean, the end is like you don't expect it. The others, this is with Nicole Kidman in it. And this is actually a two-disc collector's. So it even has the little paper here. So you got your first disc and the second disc. So I was really excited about that. And then that's just for me. And then of course I had to get the kit. Oh, I got one more thing. And this I was so psyched about when I seen it. Oh my gosh. This retails for 30 bucks. And it was on clearance for $3. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Big Eye Art Resurrected, Resurrected and Transformed. Blonde Blythe. Look at that. Look at how freaking cool that is. And it's just all artwork. It's just all artwork. I mean, it is just so cool. $3. I was just looking at something like this the other day online because of the postcards that I got. This is a lot of the style. So yeah, I am like so, so psyched about this book. Oh my gosh, you don't even know. I mean, and it's a pretty thick book, you know. It's And the covers are just awesome. And this folds out. So isn't that neat? Which I just noticed that now when I open it, so the cover must fold out too, I bet you. Yep. Look at that. How freaking cool. Okay. And then my kids don't watch my videos, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I got them. I got my son this. It was $3.98. It is Homer. Um, you can stick him any anywhere, and he's bendable because he loves The Simpsons. So I just thought that was cute. Get him something small. And because we got him the iPod Touch for Christmas, that was his big gift. So, um, And then this... I thought was really cool too. He is into video games big time and animation and stuff. And this was on clearance for two dollars. It is from 2008, but that's fine. It's the Guinness World Records uh, Gamers Edition, so it's the Ultimate Gamers Annual, which I didn't even know they had. So that's cool. Yeah. So it just tells you, you know, just different facts about. Just, you know, the different stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then um, I also got them. This one was really neat. This one's 2007, I think, but who cares? This one was $7. Uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, The Remarkable Revealed. Take a look at the world's weirdest facts. And just look at that cover. I don't know if it's doing anything for you, but it's supposed to, uh, you know, move. And um, just some of the stuff in here. Oh my gosh, let me see, I want to find something. There was something in here with a ball python, well I don't know if it was a ball python, it was a python that was 20 feet long and it swallowed a sheep and it showed it and it was just like, oh my gosh. And of course I won't find it now because I want to. Um, but yeah, so we... Hello! Okay, I'm going to show you this. It looks like a... <coughs> Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's something growing out of his back. So I don't know if you've seen that, if I held it up to the camera right or not. Um, so yeah, there's um, a lot of crazy stuff in here. So hopefully, hopefully he likes it. This is supposed to be a, a big bunny. It's just one year old. Rudy the Rabbit, owned by Erwin Techman of Berlin, Germany, weighed 22 pounds. Holy cow! Look at that rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, so this is a pretty neat book, too. 
Um, and then the last three we got for my daughter is just, you know, little add-ons. Um, she was reading about Anne Frank in school, so she wanted, or learning, so she wanted to read a little bit more. And this is a small book. They have so many books out by her. This one's got pictures in it, too, and it's not real in depth, so I thought that she would like it. And it was only $2. It's yours and The Life of Anne Frank. It's a scholastic book. No, you're not! Okay. Sorry. My daughter almost walked in the room. And this next one is uh, Ghost of Fair Streets and R.L. R. Stein, uh, Who's Been Sleeping in My Grave. This is a dollar ninety-eight. And this is, you know, all these books are in, like, really good shape. And then the last one, um, R.L. Stein's Ghost of Fair Street, Creepy Collection, number six, Weird Science. This is three forty Because it's got the ooze, the boy who ate Fair Street, and don't ever get sick of grannies. Then I also got her, excuse me, a couple more um, before, because she... She likes R.L. Stein, and she's moved up to the Fair Street ones because she finished all the Goosebumps, so. So that is my, that's my haul for today. Um, I actually have a $20 gift card from Amazon when I bought my son's iPad Touch, but believe it or not, I really don't feel like buying anything. I only have not much left till next payday already, again, um, basically because I would buy it. A lot of Christmas stuff still. I've already met my budget for everybody, but because Christmas is still a little while away, I've just been spending more and more, like I usually do every year. So, I get two more checks before Christmas, too. Anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.